I have provided a sample audio file for you to use during these lessons. You could, if you wish, use your own audio file to learn. But to keep things simple at this early stage, I recommend using the audio file provided here. So download the exercise file. I would strongly recommend that before editing any audio that you create a copy of the original recording. You should avoid editing the original file and only edit a copy of the original just in case you make a mistake and you can't undo what you have just done. So before we begin editing our audio file I'm going to make a copy of the downloaded file and rename the two files as Audio 1 Original and Audio 1 Edit. So let's get started. First, let's open the Audacity application by either double-clicking the shortcut on the desktop or selecting the Start menu, Programs, Audacity. We're going to open our audio file, but depending on the application you are using or even the version you are using, this might be done in a variety of ways, such as file open audio, file import audio, or project import audio, or some other way. I'm going to select file import audio. Browse to the folder where you saved the exercise file. Select the Audio 1 Edit file and click Open. The audio file is imported and displays as a waveform. The waveform is made up of high peaks and low troughs, moving out from the centre of the track. The high peaks furthest from the centre represent the loudest parts of the audio, perhaps as words are spoken. The low troughs closest to the centre represent the quieter sections, such as pauses between words. At the top of the workspace you will see a collection of tools. Move your mouse over each button to see the function of each tool. In this lesson we will use the zoom tool and the selection tool. To take a closer look at the detail of the audio file, select the Zoom tool. Then click on a part of the waveform. Each time you click, more detail is revealed, until you see the sounds that make up the individual words. To zoom back out again, hold the shift key and click. You will come to use the zoom tool a lot as you will often need to select small parts of a much larger waveform. Zoom back out so you can see the entire audio file. As we are looking at the waveform, the track is narrow 
making the zoom-in view less than perfect. To adjust the width of the track and improve the view of the waveform, drag the lower edge of the track to enlarge it. The waveform should enlarge as the track is enlarged. Notice the play controls at the top of the window. Press the play button to listen to the audio file. You might need to adjust the volume on the computer to a more comfortable level. Take a few moments to listen to the audio file. This example has errors in it and we will need to find those errors and remove them. It's 10 o'clock. This is the national news from CJS. Two fishermen are missing, presumed drowned after being swept out to sea at Southern Down off the South Wales coast. An air and sea search involving an RAF helicopter and lifeboats has been called off until the morning. So far, all that's been found are two fishing rods and a tackle bag. One of the men is understood to be elderly and the other in his 20s. The director of... The director general of the Confederation of... We can see that as the play bar reaches this point in the waveform where the first mistake occurs. Use the zoom tool to get closer to where you think the error is. Now choose the selection tool from the toolbar. Play the audio file watching the play bar as it moves through the waveform. When you hear the first error, click roughly on that point in the audio and then press the stop button. It's 10 o'clock. This is the national news from CJS. Two fishermen are missing, presumed drowned after being swept out to sea at Southern Down off the South Wales coast. An air and sea search involving an RAF helicopter and lifeboats has been called off until the morning. So far, all that's been found are two fishing rods and a tackle bag. One of the men is understood to be elderly and the other in his 20s. The director of... The Director General of the Confederation of British Industry has accused the government of shooting business in the foot. Clicking close to the error places the play bar at that position, so that next time you press the play button, the audio starts from that position. Play again and reposition the play bar at the beginning of the error more accurately if necessary. The director of the director general of the Con you might now realize how small the details of the waveform are when trying to pinpoint a specific part of the waveform. Use the zoom tool now to get closer to the error. Play as many times as you need to get to the right part of the audio. You should have a good idea where the error is now. Click and drag the mouse with the selection tool active to roughly select the area of the error. Press play again and now only the selection plays allowing you to adjust the selection more accurately. The director of the director of there are two ways you could adjust the selection you have just made. The first way is with the mouse. As you move the mouse to the beginning or end of the selection, the mouse changes to a pointed finger. Clicking and moving the mouse while it displays as this pointed finger will allow you to move the beginning or end of the selection. The second and possibly more precise way to adjust the selection is by using the keyboard. To move the play bar, press the left or right arrow keys. To expand the selection, hold the shift key and then press the left or right arrow keys. 
to contract the selection, hold the shift and control keys and then press the left or right arrow keys. In normal speech there are natural pauses between sentences, breathing spaces. When we are editing speech we need to leave these breathing spaces so the speech sounds natural. So when we are making our selection we could select from the end of the last good sentence to the end of the error or the beginning of the error and the beginning of the next good sentence. Either one of these selections would be absolutely fine as long as we leave a breathing space. So with our selection made the error can be removed. Go to the edit menu and choose cut. Now let's listen again to make sure the edit has worked as we expected and still sounds natural. One of the men is understood to be elderly and the other in his 20s. The Director General of the Confederation of British Industries. So we have made our first edit. Let's save the changes we have made before we go any further. Remember that before we opened the audio file in Audacity, we made an original and edit copy. Because we are working with the edit copy and not the original, all we have to do when saving the audio file is go to File, Export or File, Save, depending on the application you are using. That's the end of this lesson. In this lesson we looked at the waveform in more detail, learnt how to identify errors and make a selection, cut a selection and save the changes. Carry on editing the exercise audio file. There are more mistakes to find and correct. Then save your completed work by exporting the audio as a WAV PCM file. We will look at other edit functions in the next lesson. Go to the next lesson to start learning more about how to edit an audio file.